What's going on everyone? It's Marcellus back with another video. We gotta go over Shiba Inu. As you all know, if you watched my video yesterday, I did mention we were inside consolidation and we could have another uptrend coming very soon. So as you can see here, she broke out of the consolidation and went into the uptrend. Anyways, hit the like button and subscribe. It really helps the YouTube channel out immensely for the YouTube algorithm. Go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you all want me to go over next. Also, if you want to help support the channel, definitely go ahead and send a cash app or PayPal donation through the donation link in the description. It'll help me out a lot. And also, if you want these automated trading indicators, definitely check out the vital algo link in the description and use the discount code Marcellus for 25% off. Now let's get started. The first thing I want to mention here, Shiba Inu, as you can see, the 24 hour market control is in control by the bulls by 60%. So we are 60% bullish. Now on top of that, you can see over here on the oscillator, right after that area, that was an overbought area out of this consolidation that we formed up yesterday. It was an overbought area, but then right after that, you can see there's some overselling. Now in my video yesterday, I drew this whole consolidation. I call it the mini consolidation, you know, and then this was the whole big consolidation back here, which we broke out into a negative trend line. But I always mention in my videos how usually when we get a huge area of consolidation, usually when it's a, a down, a descending triangle, that's pretty much what they call it. You usually go down from there because, you know, it's a descending triangle. So you end up breaking down from there. But what they call this is a bear trap and it pretty much traps the bears. It makes people think that it's bearish when really it's bullish. Now, after we had that bear trap, boom, that was a bear trap right there. So then we come up on here after this consolidation. Watch the video that I put out yesterday. I did the whole technical analysis saying how we could possibly rise here because of the supply and demand is so strong down here. So much, or I mean, so much demand, almost as so much supply. There's a lot of supply, obviously. But yeah, so much demand for Shiba Inu that it just sent us up to the moon, but not completely to the moon, you know. It just sent us up to a good amount. So I do want to mention something here with Shiba Inu. Now, as we had the bear trap previously in this descending triangle, and then we had this consolidation having this rise. I do want to mention, if we continue to go down in the overall crypto market, we can see a bull trap now. It could be a quick reversal, really, really, really quick. Because look, everything's going crazy now. 11.4% for Binance coin. That's pretty big. Over here, Bitcoin up 4.2%. Ethereum up 7.4%. 58K Bitcoin. So as you can see, everything's pretty much going up right now. But there's still FUD. There's still fear, uncertainty, and doubt. There's still a lot of talk about inflation. There's still a lot of talk about crypto taxes coming into play. There's still a lot of talk about the MT Gox thing. Or I think it's called MT Gox. I, I got to get that one. I got to get that straight. You know, whatever the exchange is called from 2014, they're, you know, about to dump 143000 bitcoins inside the market so that's going to be another thing so we have all this fud fear uncertainty and doubt going on inside the crypto market so what could happen here if we continue to have this fud and it continues to affect the overall market then what we will end up happening is pretty much a bull trap so we had our bear trap we broke down and then we broke out of this consolidation and now boom if this turns out to be a bear or a bull trap then you will see it very soon, and by very soon, I mean tomorrow. So if we see a huge movement coming in tomorrow, like huge buying, then it definitely was not a bull trap. We'll definitely go on a rise. But if you see huge selling happening tomorrow, definitely expect to break this support line down here at the 4-0 area and hit the 3-5 area. So that's what I'm predicting here. If we There's there's two predictions. You know, There's the breaking down below the 4-0 area, or we could have a bullish outlook. And that's only if, you know, the FUD kind of stops and then we just have a huge, huge volumes coming into crypto. So it really depends on what's happening with Bitcoin right now. If we continue to rise in Bitcoin, we'll continue to rise in sheep. So right now I'm definitely pretty bullish on crypto long term. Obviously, the short term can do whatever it wants to. I don't really care because I'm going to buy the dip regardless. And I'm always going to come here and do the technical analysis and show you all what's going to happen. Because like I said, like. I don't care. Like either way, if it's down, if crypto is down, I'm making these videos. I'm showing you exactly what's going on. If it's up, I'm making these videos, showing you exactly what's going on, doing the technical analysis. Never gonna stop making the videos. Be like, oh man, it's down. I'm not gonna get any more views anymore. No, I'm gonna continue to make these videos. I'm gonna continue to show you all the technical analysis and exactly what we got coming up. So right now, I am, am predicting that we may go down a little bit tomorrow. So just by what the chart is looking at like now, we could have some you know, drops coming very soon. So we were coming off of an overbought area here. So it's inevitable for us to, you know, have a little bit of a downtrend like we had this oversell area. Anyways, 
just go over someone else's technical analysis and go over some other people's points of view. So this is coming straight from FXG. So Shiba Inu in danger of topping signal as she price loses 50% in three weeks. So over here, you can see they said Shiba Inu lost more than 50% of its market cap, blah, blah, blah. But remember, it was a huge pump, so it had to lose that anyway in order to gain the momentum to continue to rise. That's pretty much how it works here. Sheep price has dropped low, as low as 42.51 from the all-time highs, blah, 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 blah. Really, what we want to look over here is at the resistance at 56.60, and then we have resistance at 49.52, and then we have some some uncom unconfirmed reversals pretty much around here. They're saying if we go below 43.70, we could hit a reversal to the negative downtrend. And literally, when we hit the 43.70 area here, you can just see we just went whoop, all the way down, all the way down here. Then we had some support here at 4108, but then we had some huge price action here and some consolidation. So anyways, let's keep going on with this. Buying the dips. This is what I'm talking about. Like It's the best thing to do. Buy the dip. Remember, though, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this is financial advice, but the dip is the number one thing that will help you continue to stack up, and that's really what we want to do here. Price swings of 50% or more are not too uncommon in the cryptocurrency market. That's what I'm saying. Like, if Shiba Inu drops 50% right now, then I'm not afraid. If Bitcoin drops 50% right now, then I'm not afraid. Like, this is what it does. This is literally what crypto does. When it does that, that's when you come in, you buy those dips. That's the opportunity of a lifetime. Now, anyways, for example, Bitcoin plunged from around 65K to below 30K in less than 30 days, and it could happen again this time. But right now, 45K is looking like a good support if we go down huge. So at the core, Bitcoin's volatile rebound was a well-circulated narrative that projected it as a hedge against rising inflation all across the world. So literally, the inflation that we have going all across the world right now, so much money is being printed into the global economy. Where do you think that money's gonna go? Like as prices increase for things, like a gallon of milk used to be like two dollars, now it's like four dollars. Like as these prices increase for everything all across the world, money is being printed as well. That money, that same money is going to flow into these cryptos. So one trillion market cap altcoins are not gonna be far fetched very soon. Like, yeah, we got one trillion market cap Bitcoin. But what, watch when Bitcoin hits 10 trillion market cap. And then we got Sheeb and Dogecoin at 1 trillion. Like, that could happen. And remember, if that happens, you'll see 1 cent Sheeb. And like, people want that $1 Sheeb. 397 trillion market cap Sheeb isn't quite possible right now. That would have to be heavy, heavy, heavy inflation, like 2050 inflation. So, what I'm really looking at is 1 cent Sheeb, 3.9 trillion or 3.94 trillion market cap, which would be like, I would say, three, five years down the road because this inflation is heavy. Like you're seeing this firsthand. We're having some heavy inflation right now. Like billionaires are the new millionaires. That's how it's looking right now. But yeah, anyways, the founder of Gakshin Media and CEO of PAC Protocol reminded that Shiba Inu's bullish performance this year has come on the back of strengthening community support and despite absence of major endorsements by celebrities and billionaires. So we got a good community here at Shib. So a bull technical outlook. So Shiba Inu's ongoing price correction had it trend lower inside what appeared like a bull flag. So raising possibilities that the coin would continue to move its higher highs for the future. So in detail, Bull flags occur as a brief pause in the trend after a strong price move higher. So the pattern looks like a downward sloping channel rectangle represented by two parallel falling trend lines. So typically, bull flags result in price breaking out of the upper trend line to levels at length equal to the height of the previous trend line called a flagpole. And they kind of have it. Um, up here. So over here with this said, Sheeb's next attempt to break above its flag upper trend line, if accompanied by a rise in trading volume, could result in a price leg higher towards the 0001 area. So we be knocking out at zero. And I really do want to mention something right now. So the, the first thing I want to mention here with Shiba Inu, first let's click on this. So as you can see here, this is the charts here that they're talking about. This is the bull flags they're talking about. So what I really want to mention here is that 0001, they're predicting that if we have support in the overall crypto market, if Bitcoin stops dropping, if the FUD stops, the fear, uncertainty, and doubt stops, if the crypto market continues to rise, if we knock out all these negative gains and bring in positive gains and have positive gains for the whole last seven days, we will see Shiba Inu rise. We will see Shiba Inu jump huge. You can already see it here. 
just off of the little bit of the just off of the little bit of a correction that we came off of. And now you're seeing the buyback in. You're seeing people buy the dip. You're seeing money flowing right back in to sheep. So there's definitely some potential here to rise. Now, there's a few other things I want to go over. The um, key support levels of the 4-4 area, 0 0 and then 0 I say 4-5. They say 4-4, but it's whatever. It's 4-5 to me. Now, 3-2, I say 3-5. They say 3-2. So, you know, it's just different technical analysis here. So key resistance levels at 5-0, definitely a good resistance. And then 5-5, five, five, those are definitely key resistance. You can see the second we actually went up to 5-2, we ended up getting rejected. We tried to break out and get to 5.5, but we got rejected here. As you can see here, this red area is pretty much our supply and demand showing less demand for CBEU at this area, pretty much showing resistance, and that's where we got rejected at. So let's move on here to the next thing. So Shiba Inu is the largest crypto holding among Ethereum whales and could soon be the most profitable one. And this is true. A lot of crypto, a lot of whales inside Ethereum, that like they're holding cheap, like Sheep is the biggest bag right now. So Sheep Army, uh, congrats. The king is back. Sheep flipped best OKB and Crow to become biggest ERC-20 holding 17.44% among the top 1,000 Ethereum wallets with total value of $2.3 billion. So that's a lot of money right there. And as you can see here, Crow, that's crypto.com coin. And Sheep is bigger than that. Like here, here's the charts. Like the numbers do not lie. As you can see, ERC-20, Token holdings, state visualization of the top 1,000 Ethereum wallets. The top 1,000 Ethereum wallets have more SHIB than any other ERC-20 token. So that's pretty significant. SHIB Inu is literally the top dog right now. So shout out to the SHIB army for making this happen. This is really big for SHIB Inu. So yeah, shout out to the whole SHIB army. That's a lot of money in SHIB, lots of money flowing. So the whole SHIB army community. Now we're trying to get listed on Robinhood, trying to get... McDonald's to accept us for payments. We're getting AMC to accept us as payments. So we're getting a lot of different things going on for Shiba Inu. BitPay is collabed with Shiba Inu. And we just got a lot of good stuff going on. Now, over here, you see Shiba was also listed as a sentiment. And I don't, I don't really know what that thing is. But, you know, they listed Shiba Inu. So shout out to them. I don't use that type of stuff. But anyways, Shiba Inu is doing pretty good. Shiba Inu's utility has hit a peak with over 500 merchants accepting Shiba as a form of payment. A mysterious new sheep whale purchased 170 billion tokens worth $8.1 million during the dip, which is a good amount of money. The whale converted Ethereum to buy sheep proponent, proponents. Consider it a bullish sign for Shiba Inu. So if we see you know, people throwing millions of dollars in there, it's definitely a good sign for Shiba Inu. So over here, you can see the FX Street analysts have evaluated sheep price and identified a triple bottom pattern to catapult Shiba Inu to 0.00088. And the triple bottom pattern that they're talking about here, let's actually scroll out so we can see the triple bottom. So one bottom, two bottom, three bottom, triple bottom. <laughs> That's pretty much what they're talking about. But anyways, we got some good stuff going on with Shiba Inu here. I'm definitely expecting to see a pretty big drop here. Or I'm not a drop, a pretty big upcoming, you know, uprising size sheep. But I do want to mention what I meant to say. If we do have a big drop, you're going to see it accompanied by a huge uptrend. And that's because just like we just now went over in this article, like the whales are buying the dip and their whales are buying the dip huge. Definitely check out my previous Dogecoin video. I showed whales buying millions, hundreds of millions of dollars of Dogecoin. And they're doing the same thing with Shiba Inu. But yeah, anyways, let's go over here and look at our holders. We're almost at a million holders here. So right now at 982,585, hit that refresh button, 982,652. So we're going to continue to rise here. We're going to continue to get more and more people holding Shiba Inu. We're going to continue to get more market cap and more volume inside Shiba. It's just a matter of time, even if we have a temporary setback, minor setbacks for major comebacks. I know you all know that phrase. So... Anyways, this is all I got for you all today. I just wanted to go over this because I was pretty excited to see that my technical analysis kind of turned into a good uptrend here. And yeah, we went straight on an uptrend here. Uh, check out the video I made yesterday so you can see it in person and just see like how the technical analysis was working, my, pre my predictions pretty much. And I was saying, like, look, if we're on the lower side of this consolidation, then we're going to end up going on a downtrend. But that downtrend would be short-lived and we would actually stop here at the supply and demand because that green area shows lots of demand. 
And then if we go on an uptrend, it would probably be short-lived because up here we have the red area of supply and demand showing less demand. And that's exactly what happened. We hit that area and then we got rejected. But it was still a nice uptrend and it was still nice while it lasted. Anyways, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe. It really helps the YouTube channel out immensely for the YouTube algorithm. Leave a comment in the comment section and let me know what you all want me to go over next. Also, if you want to help support the channel, definitely go ahead and send a cash app or PayPal donation through the donation link in the description. And also, if you want these automated trading indicators, definitely check out the vital algo link inside of the description and use the discount code Marcellus for 25% off. And as always, I'll be back with another video. Peace.